Hey everyone, in this video, we're going to talk about sharpening your photographs inside On One Photo Raw 2019. Inside On One Photo Raw, you can apply sharpening to photos in two ways. The first way is to apply sharpening inside of your Develop tab here. This would be ideal for situations where you want sharpening to be applied to your entire photograph. Maybe you're looking to add in a little bit more micro contrast and detail, or you were shooting a subject with motion and your camera was a little bit out of focus. So to apply sharpening inside of your develop tab, let's just click on our tone and color to hide it. And then we can go into our details pane here and we can apply sharpening with this slider here. I'm just gonna zoom in real quick so you guys can get a better view of the detail. So now if we want to apply detail, we can head back to our details pane and we can pull up on this amount slider. And you'll see that by pulling up and down on it, it's adding in some micro contrast and detail to sharpen up our photo. I'm just gonna leave it at 100% so that you guys can see what it's doing to the photo. Below that, we have this threshold slider. This is going to determine how many of those low detail areas we sharpen up using this amount slider. So if we want less sharpening on those low detail areas, we can pull up on this threshold slider. We can also view the threshold mask by holding down on our Alt or Option key on Mac and then pulling up on this threshold slider. So now if I turn this details pane off and on, you'll see it's doing a good job of sharpening up my photograph. But what if we don't want that sharpening applied to our entire photograph? Let's take this photo for example. If we zoom in here, you'll notice that the hand and this reel and this area on the rod here are a little bit out of focus. So let's say we only want to apply that sharpening filter to those specific areas and those areas only. Well, to do that, we're gonna to have to add it as a filter inside of our effects tab. So let's go into our effects tab. We'll add a filter and I'll just add that sharpening filter. If you add sharpening as a filter inside of effects, you can mask and blend it in onto specific areas in your photograph. You also have a lot more options and modifiers in here that you can use to really dial in the sharpening on your shot. Before we start modifying these, I'm just going to zoom in real quick so that we can get a closer look at the detail. So now let's head over to that sharpening filter and we'll start with the type. Inside this type menu, there's three different types that you can choose from. We'll start with high pass. With the high pass type, you can modify the amount of sharpening within your photograph. And with this halo slider, you can modify the radius of that sharpening. So let's pull up this amount so that you guys can get a better look at what it does. And now if I pull up on this halo slider, I can make the radius of that sharpening a lot larger or smaller depending on the type of photograph I'm modifying. The second type is progressive. With the progressive type, we can add in or remove sharpening with this amount slider. And then below that, we have this detail slider here, which we can use to add in small amounts of detail into the sharpening areas. And then we have this threshold slider, which you'll remember allows us to remove sharpening from areas of low detail on our photograph. So if we want to remove some sharpening from low detailed areas, we can pull up on this threshold slider to do that. The third type is unsharp mask, which kind of combines the best of both worlds between progressive and high pass. We have our halo slider, which we can use to modify the radius. And then we have our threshold slider, which we can use to remove that sharpening from those areas of low detail. I'm just going to pull up on my amount a little bit and I'll add in 
a little bit more radius to my sharpening and I'll allow it to be applied to the entire photo. And now that we've applied some sharpening, if there's areas on our photograph that we want to protect, such as shadows, highlights, or skin, we can use these different sliders to do that. So if we have an area on our photograph that is heavy with shadows and it doesn't need any sharpening, we can protect that area using this slider here. Notice how it removes the sharpening from the darker areas in the photograph. Same with our highlights and skin tone. Now let's go in and let's brush this on to the specific areas in our photograph. I'm just going to zoom out real quick and I'm going to head into my masking options for this filter and I'm going to invert this mask. That means none of the sharpening is being applied to my photograph. Now with my masking brush selected, I'm just going to brush this on areas that I want it to be applied to. So now if we head over and we turn this off and on, it does a good job of bringing out a lot of the detail and sharpness in this area that was otherwise out of focus. So that's how to use sharpening inside On One Photo Raw 2019.